Convicted killer Scott Peterson has consistently maintained his innocence in the murders of his pregnant wife Lacey and their unborn son. And now he has a new legal team who's going back to court in an effort to try to vindicate him. His new attorneys with the LA Innocence Project claim Peterson is a wrongfully convicted man whose state and federal rights were violated. And they presented their case to a judge today asking for access to evidence they say will set him free. KTLA's Mary Beth McDonald date is here. She's got more on that hearing. MB. Uh, well, Sandy and Micah, Peterson's lawyers now want to collect evidence that they believe will support their theory that Lacey Peterson was murdered by burglars and not her husband, Scott. Give me a thumbs up if you can see us and hear us, please. A smiling Scott Peterson with his hair pulled back in a ponytail appeared in a San Mateo County Superior Court via video from Yule State Prison. Lawyers with the LA Innocence Project have taken on his case. They believe he's innocent and are fighting to get his 2004 murder conviction overturned. We are eager to get our investigation underway and completed. The Court of Appeal did give us a very short time period within which to conduct our investigation. 51-year-old Peterson was convicted of murdering his wife Lacey and unborn son Connor on Christmas Eve 2002 and then dumping their bodies in the San Francisco Bay. The LA Innocence Project has filed motions with the court requesting new DNA testing on items they claim are related to the case and are seeking evidence from the original police investigation they say was improperly withheld during trial. Mr. Peterson has been waiting 20 years to find some of these police reports and audio recordings and video recordings that should have been provided. The defense's theory has long been that Lacey was killed by burglars who are breaking into homes in the couple's Modesto neighborhood at the time of her disappearance. Peterson's attorneys believe there's evidence to support this theory. Some of the items they're asking for new DNA testing on, a hammer and glove found at a home that was burglarized across the street from the Peterson's house, a cloth from a bloodstained mattress found in a burned out van parked near their home, and on two tarps and a large plastic bag found on the shore near Lacey and Connor's bodies. We also believe that a lot of these items have been raised and litigated as part of the initial appeal and also litigated as part of the first habeas. Mark Garagos, Peterson's trial attorney, believes this case should get a second look. I think they think that there is a substantial issue here that could exculpate or show that he's innocent. Attorney Gloria Allred has a different take. She represented Amber Fry, who went from Scott's mistress to state's witness. I think it's an uphill battle for the Innocence Project. Well, the judge set several upcoming hearing dates, and the next one is scheduled for April 16th. That's going to do it for me. We'll send it back over to you guys. Sandra. All right, Mary Beth, thank you.